I wonder what type of flower this is and where I could find it. Hello. Here at Bear Creek Lake, Many people come to see our lady slippers, our pink lady slippers, when they're blooming. That's generally in April uh, into early May. But after that, the blooms soon fade and the, uh, they will lose their stalk and the flower itself and just remain pretty dormant, which means quietly, almost sleeping for the uh, remainder of the year. Now, you don't often see a lot of patches of lady slippers. And by patches, we're not talking about huge fields of flowers all together covering a large area. Most of the patches are still going to be relatively small. And one of the reasons for that is how lady slippers grow and expand. And they will expand using what are called rhizomes. And those are lateral roots. Lateral meaning they're going from side to side under the ground. And from those rhizomes will come another lady slipper. Now, we all know that pollinators are very important to almost all species of plants, things like that, to help them reproduce and grow more. So how does a pollinator find its way into one of these ladies' slippers to pollinate it? Well, they have a very clever strategy, the lady slippers. Um, one of the things they do is attract a pollinator, uh, bumblebees or other, a lot of other bees in the forest, and they come up and they find their way inside the slipper by going in between here. The bee will set, have an aroma, a scent. It will come in and it will be inside the lady slipper, but it won't find any nectar. So what's it going to do? It's going to crawl out another hole. It can't go back the way it came. It has to crawl out a little hole or two at the very top, and that's where the pollen is. And so when it leaves, it's picking up the pollen to take on to another lady slipper, where it'll go in because it smells something delicious, but there's nothing really there. Lady slipper is a trickster, and, but it then still passes the pollen as it goes in and out. 